I just wanted to give my first impressions about the Mist D2 robot. And I'm not going to do an unboxing because I, I think those are kind of overrated sometimes. Um, and really it's pretty simple when it's kind of self-explanatory when you open the, the box. Um, you'll get Misty, you'll get um, the charging pad, the AC adapter for the charging pad, and then you'll get this foam stand, which is really nice because you put Misty on top of it, um, just so that her tracks are suspended so that while you're writing code or something, she's not going to just drive off the table by accident. So that was cool. Um, the one thing that did surprise me when I first turned Misty on the first time was kind of hearing an audible fan. It, it just surprised me a little bit, but you know, I guess it makes sense because there's so much hardware in there. I'd rather have a fan than have it um, overheating. So the first thing you do is you actually take your phone or tablet, Apple or Android, and you download the Misty Robotics app, and then you first thing you have to do at the very first screen is you have to create an account before you even see anything which sometimes I don't like that that much I mean I kinda like um, for drones or other robots you know if I can get to the get to some of the functionality without creating an account but it's not that big of a deal the other thing is um, I did have Bluetooth connection problems so Bluetooth connectivity with and I have both um, a Samsung Note 9 which is a pretty recent phone and then I also have this tablet running different versions of Android and they were the Bluetooth is, was kinda spotty on both of them so for me if this was like the final commercial consumer robot I would say that's a really big deal that's like a showstopper um, but given that this is uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time about that because this is still kind of a more of a development version Okay, so I've switched to a different computer. Um, so I have Misty powered on, and now I know her IP from the app. Um, so that's all you need. So then now, this is like where the real fun begins. So I'm gonna go to sdk.mistyrobotics.com. And you can read this, this home page, but then the, the real fun part is just the command center. So I'm going to enter the IP of the robot. And this part is really reliable. So I know there's a little bit of Bluetooth connectivity issues, but you know, once you're once you have the IP and once Misty has knows about your network and your network password, um, then everything's pretty smooth after that. So from here, you can just kind of play around. I actually didn't go to the command center the very uh, couple nights ago when I unpacked her. I um, just started writing a skill right away because I, I didn't know about this um, page. But you really want to start with this page because you can just play around. First of all, you can see your robot version. Um, I already did an update this morning. It's all pretty, pretty clear. And um, I really like the styling of the page. So one of the things you can do just off the bat, like let's say, let's go to arm movement. You'll see there's a little GUI here that lets me test um, Misty's arm movement. So I'm gonna hit rotate right arm. And you can see the, um, the arms just are really smooth and fast. Rotate left arm. Um, I can move her head a little bit. Um, so you can just play around and then, you know, make sure she's working. And then this kind of gives you an entry into the things you can do with the API. Oh, there's also um, two nice sections where you can load an image that will display um, on her screen, on her face. And I actually haven't tried that yet, but I had to, of course, um, load this as like my first like audio asset which I already loaded, um, it's just called danger.wave. And if you click on here, it says choose an audio file. Um, it'll give you a browser, and then that way you can load in sounds and images. 
and I didn't know that the first night, so I was kind of reverse engineering things from some of the samples. But now I see that I can actually see all the the audio sounds here in this pull down in the. So this is in a box called expression, and then it's in the audio part. And then so when you're programming, you can you can have her play these sounds, which and it's really easy. But of course, I had to um, load this sound. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. So one of the, the nice things about Misty that I liked right away is just the quality of the speaker. It's like, um, just has a lot of bass. It just feels really full. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Okay, so then when you play around with this, you kind of um, understand like some of the capabilities and it just gives you kind of like some feeling of success right away. Um, but like I said, I didn't know that. <laughs> The first night, the first night, I just went to Skill Runner, and um, I wrote a skill um, just called Cute Sounds, and all it was was I kind of reverse engineered which were some of the, the sounds that I liked, and then I think I took some code from Hello World, but it's JavaScript and um, it's really easy. So so all it does is kind of move her head and then play some of the sounds, but it starts right away. Just literally an hour into it, I started adding like personality. So. Um, so what are my impressions about Misty? Um, I think that I'm kind of a perfect target audience because by day um, I write C and C++ software um, and Python, of course. Um, and I actually don't even know JavaScript or I didn't know it till now. But it's so easy if you've done C or if you've done Java or if you've done Python, JavaScript's gonna be no problem. But like I said, I think you know, I'm a target audience because I've built robots before. Like, uh, but I don't have time to build something this sophisticated with this much hardware. So if you're a developer, you like building robots, but may maybe you don't have enough time to, to build something with this, with this many sensors. Um, then I think it's really good if you can afford it. So hopefully more people, um, you know, jump on board and we all start writing skills and this could be pretty awesome. Okay, thanks. Bye.